Welcome to Framework Fortune and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I am your host Ben and we're going to dive into a requested lesson that I don't think I've covered but if I did I'm redoing a lot of the older lessons to update with how I've grown as a trader for 2022 so be on the lookout for those as they keep coming out hit the subscribe if you haven't yet but in this video I'm going to go over the criteria I look for in a scanner that you can use to find these stocks every morning to make your watch list so first let's take a look at the scanner and see the criteria that we're scanning and pulling out of the entire stock market. So this scanner is specifically for Thinkorswim, but the criteria can work with any platform. You may not be able to make a ex scanner exactly for it, but you can still narrow it down with simple scanners by these criteria. The scanner though on TOS will help you uh, quite a bit to narrow it down. So the first thing we have is the mark price and we're using mark on previous videos I've used last which is the last the price was at in the last second of whatever day only problem is it doesn't show the last price in pre-market and after hours mark does so all of your scanners really should be set to mark not to last that's something that I recently learned made a big difference with the scanner. So mark, the price is minimum $3. Right now I don't have a max and that's absolutely fine because we're not going to be seeing that many stocks on this list in the first place. Then I've got the volume over a million. You could lower this in pre-market to maybe about 500,000 if you're scanning in pre-market but I don't trade or make my watch list. During pre-market, I do it after the first 30 minutes of market open because that gives me a better idea of which way the market is going for the day and doesn't get me caught up in quick fake out breakouts that we see a lot of at the beginning of market open. And then we have shares because we're trading low floats. Um, you don't have to use the shares. If you like trading higher floats, you could always make a minimum instead of a maximum. But I want the low floats. I want the ones with the biggest potential to explode, least capital possible. And then the next filter we have, all three of those are in stock. So if you don't know how to use this, you just go to add filter and you can find mark volume and shares all there and set it up the same way. The last one is going to be study. So you're going to pull up study and you're going to go down to popular studies. And in popular studies, you'll see move and average scan, which will pop this up. You'll want the close unless we have the mark, but we don't have the mark. So it's fine. We'll just use the close is at least 5% above the 200 exponential move and average on the daily. This is going to be a part of my criteria. I do not like to trade stocks under the 200 day exponential moving average. Reason being is because they are bearish. If they are bearish, support levels are more likely to crack and they're more likely to be bear traps and more shorters and things like that in it. If it's above the 200, it is bullish. So more more likely to hold support areas and break resistance areas and move up to higher prices. So when we hit scan, you always want to show 2000 because you want to show as much possible stocks from your scan, but this only brought up 19 stocks so not a lot but just in case always mark it as 2000 i'll look at the scanner and go down through here and throw all of these on my watch list all right so let's just throw them all on there for now and then we're going to manually go through and check the ones that i would continue to watch we'll even throw the red ones on here because even though they're red on the day they still are above the 200 moving average or they should be according to the scanner so let's go check and see so this is a one year one day chart and the 200 day is showing it's way up here so i don't want any parts of this so let's take that off the list tsri okay that did have a gap up it is above the 200 so we can leave that on the list btcs above the 200 200's here price is way up here at 540 We'll keep it on the list. D DWAC above the 200 and above all EMAs. So it can be on the list. Of course, DWAC, same thing. 
One is a stock and one is like a common one. But anyway, that's irrelevant. They're both above the 200, so we'll keep them on the list. HUDI is above the 200, but looking at this pattern, it has sold off quite a bit and actually dropped below the 200, and it is below the 50 and the 10 days. So I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to take it off. LPTX, we could leave that on there. It is above all the indicators. BFRI, that one's still below the 10, so I probably wouldn't look at it. IMMX, that's above the 10, above the 200 and the 50, so we'll leave it on there. DKS, above the 200, but smashing right into that 50-day moving average. Plus, it's $100, not something I would be trading anyway. RELI, this one's above all moving average. 200 is the red line. It's way down here. 50 is way down here. 10 is up here. And we're above all those indicators, so that can stay on the list. DOGS is above the 200, but below both of these indicators had a big sell-off. You could keep an eye on it to see if it holds the 200-day moving average as support, but if it doesn't, it'll just crack down. But still, not really one I would be looking at as it's more of a dead cap bounce than it is below the other two indicators. So I'm going to take it off. VCRA, this one is above all EMAs, but it's just flatlining sideways, so no reason to look at it. A flat line like that over three or four days, uh, especially after a gap up, not much volume going on there. GPPI, this one is above all three moving averages, so we could leave it on. PAE, another flat line, we can take it off. EPay, another flat line, we can take it off. CVFI, that one looks good. Above all EMAs, actually moving up. MIME, M I M E, it's been going sideways, so we'll take it off. No reason to look at that. So now we've narrowed this list down to about eh, what, eight stocks, let's see, four, nine stocks. Okay, so we got nine stocks that we'd be looking at first thing in the morning. Probably less because it's, um, right when we start scanning, some of this stuff is not going to pop up on there. But if you were in the live stream this morning with me, even without that scanner, my list looked just like this. It was TSRI, BTCS, DWAC, LPTX was not on there, but IMX was on there, and RELI. The only one that didn't show up, it looks like. And let me make sure it's not on there. Oh, it is on here. ISIG. So that's the other one. Of course, above all the moving averages, the 200 way down here, the 50 here, and the 10-day moving average there. I'm up quite a bit on this play at the moment, but this is why I've been holding this play is because it was above all moving averages. It fit that criteria. So what is the criteria? Let's go through it again. For the stocks I'm trading, we want the price. I'm going to put it at 100 max because there's, there's really no reason I don't trade anything over 100. I really don't trade anything over 50, but we'll make it a max price. So Mark is going to be your price range of what you want to trade. I want to stay above $3 and I want to stay below 100. Then the amount of volume. So we got to have volume. That's the amount of shares being traded in a time period. So more volume, more likely that a stock is going to make a bigger move. And then we want low float. We want a low amount of shares. So max shares, 100 million. And then we want stocks that are over all the moving average, especially the 200. Then we would go through and see, is there any good PR? We want press releases. Is there any reason for the stock to move up? TSRI was above all moving averages and had a big run in pre-market. But what is the news? So they just had, they just reported revenue. They reported a little bit of earnings. Not the greatest news. We know earnings doesn't always work out. Even if it's good earnings, the stock can still crash. As a little extra indicator, a little extra criteria, I like to look back on the daily chart in the past history and see if the stock has given back its gains quite a bit. And what I mean is, where the stock has shot up and then sold all the way back off, causing these higher upper wicks. This one was an extremely higher wick, giving back over 50% of the gains on that day. We see it again here. 
we see it again multiple times through here we continue to look at this chart multiple of these big wicks all across this past chart history so this stock is known for not holding up in these price areas is known for having big sell-offs after a gap up or after a rip so I left it on my watch list this morning but it was one where I was very cautious on and never even took a trade just because of that past chart history all the other criteria it met but past chart history is going to be that last criteria you want to make sure of that you're not getting in something that's just going to shoot up really quick and drop right back down on so if you don't know what the moving averages are that i was talking about i do have videos in the day trading playlists about moving averages but simply it's just the indicator that calculates the price action over a certain time period so a 200 day exponential moving average is going to be the price calculated out over 200 days of price action 10 day moving average would be 10 days of data and the 50 day would be 50 days of data the longer the time frame the more data you have to try to make your watch list with the best setups so the longer the time frame the stronger the indicators longer the time period the stronger the moving averages as always going to be true so a 200 day moving average because it's that much data is definitely going to be stronger and hold up better as support than say a 10 day moving average on the daily chart and you want to see the moving averages lined up like this longest time period at the bottom the 200 day and the shortest time period at the top the 10 day and then of course the 50 days should be in the middle of those two so when your emas are lining up like that that is showing bullish momentum most of these plays through this scanner and through this criteria are showing uptrends and that's what you want if you're buying into a downtrend you're playing against the trend and remember the trend is your friend so with this criteria you should be able to make a watch list in every morning with max 10 stocks I doubt you're ever going to have more than 10 stocks on that watch list now if you don't know you can put your scanner in the sidebar over here so this is the scanner that I have been using but I'm gonna go to personal and I'm gonna add the day trade 200 above scanner and now we can see we have that whole list there so throughout the day throughout the morning while we're trading if something new was to pop up here like we just had bros pop up here you can see it just started pushing five percent above that 200 moving average it is below the 50 and the 10 day but it got a nice little bounce off of the 200 because the longer the time frame the stronger the indicator that 200 has held up multiple times in the past chart history as support pivot point there held a support same thing there and then the same thing just happened yesterday and now we're starting to push up through these other indicators bros gets back above 50 tomorrow and is still on my scanner that could be a possible play as well but the idea is to have a small list so you're not focusing on a whole bunch of different stocks you're only focusing on the ones that give you the best setups the ones that are more likely to break out hopefully that brings some clarity to you guys who are wondering how I make my watch list every morning because in the live streams I do do it very quickly um, the longer you've been trading the quicker you'll be able to make your watch list you'll just hit the scanner or already have the scanner up on the side and you can just click through it real quick and go okay this this I'm throwing up here this I'm throwing up here uh, this I'm leaving off you know you can do it very very quickly and have your watch list ready but if you have any questions that you can't find the information for leave it down in the comments below and I will get to it as soon as I can appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there until next time